What's up, guys? This is Wade. Um, just want to tell you how we do what we do. Uh, we get, I usually get a lot of questions, man, about how we got our station set up. So I'm going to go over it real quick to show you the setup. It's not, um, it's not that hard, really. It's not, man. Um, it's just you know what you're doing. It's not that hard. But of course, um, I'm saying that, and uh, when I go through it, you'll be a better determined if it's hard or not. But it's not that hard to me. All right, cool. All we basically broken down two components. It's basically just the two pieces of equipment: mixer, radio streaming PC. So that's the um, online streaming PC right there. All right, real simple, right? You think it'll be like mammoth, but uh, that's 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 what's running our worldwide broadcast right now. That it's in like um, I think like 15 different outlets, I think, as of right now, worldwide. So that's what's running it. I have the mixer set up right here simply just to control my um like the voices and the different sounds that's going into the mixer. This is all like voice. It's nothing to do with music. So I don't have anything else. Music is actually in the radio streaming PC and it runs it independently. All that. I just use this to control my mics. So I have two mics set up in this uh, mixer. I got one channel for me, one channel for Cody coming in from the top right there. Channel one, channel two. That's real simple. Um, I have our music line set up right here. So when the streaming PC is playing music, I have it set up here so when we're on our breaks, we can hear it. Um, the way I have it set up so we can hear it, I have a headphone set up right here. It's a wireless headphone system right there. And um, that basically allows us to hear when we're on break. So we have our headphones and so we hear the music so we know when it's running out or when it's you know, time getting cut. Also, I have, it set up for, um, I have it set up for the phone line. I haven't put the phone line in yet. But uh, maybe I do a tutorial on that one. But that that's gonna be said. That's really simple. All you do is plug it in here. I have the phone lines going through um, computer right here. So let me see if I can pull it up. I don't think I have it up. Mm, I don't have it up. But anyway, I got the phone lines going through that right there. It's also right here too. So same phone line. It's just I can either answer it on my computer or in the in the phone. Um, Call ID so you can see who calling you. Bam! So we don't get no surprises on air. I'm playing now. <laughs> but we got something where we can talk to the person um, off air. We still have a conversation through the mixer without them being live on the um, studio, on the station. So that's in that. I have my mixer set up where I have different um, subgroups. Those who are, you know, in audio, you know what I'm talking about. Subgroups, basically different mixes. So we, um, my, main, my main master mix, it comes out of here. And from there, it goes into here on my mic input. Um, and that way, my master only have voices. It doesn't have anything else, just voices. I, don't have, I have it set up where the music doesn't come back in there to create a loop into, in my streaming server. So the music comes out the streaming server here, comes into this channel here, right here. And I have that set up where it's not coming out my master. So it's just all internal. No one else hears it but me and Cody. In the mixer anyway, other than the streaming PC. Um, streaming PC is set up where whatever the streaming PC hears in the microphone and whatever is playing internally through music streams out online, worldwide. Hits, um, I mean, I think we're, it hits TuneIn, it hits the Urban Gospel app, it hits uh, Stitcher, it hits Shoutcast, um, it hits Exia Live, um, it hits um, Winamp, um, it's a couple other ones. I cannot think of all of them right now, but all that comes off of this right here. So, real simple. So that's 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 what's when y'all listen to us on the station, man. That's what's running the whole station. That's it. That's all. Nothing major. There's no hidden tricks. I got this set up right here. That way I can um, if you get one of these, these are like probably thirty bucks maybe. Um, these are like they call them docking stations where you can put hard drives in it. I got this set up as a SATA hard drive. Um, so I can put if I have music on hard drives. Like, if, for example, if I don't want to uh, load this down with music, I got music on here, don't get it wrong. I got probably about a couple thousand, maybe about, maybe close to 10,000 songs on here. As if that's not enough, I need a docking station. So if I want to have more music, I just basically put my drives in, boom, boom, boom. Um, so if I want to do, like, for example, if one may be all, because uh, we do the Urban Gospel Station, one may be all like slow type of music like uh r&b gospel if you will um some may be like like this may be all uh hip-hop so 
if I want to change up in my rotation, where I say I want more hip hop in, I may drop it in there. But that's just me. Also, I like this docking station too because it gives me slots in the front. So I got music on my um, like SD cards, a flat thumb drive, flash drive, or even if I got if I got my music. Like sometimes I had music on one of these external drives, and uh, it was a USB on it. I basically just plug it up right in there and I'll read it in the computer. So that's a beautiful. This is a like I, me personally, I say this is. You you need to get one of these because this is this will help your station a lot. Um, that will. Um, aside from this priority, I'll say get this and this. If you get these two, you don't really need the mixer because built into the radio streaming PC, it has a mix, mixer built into it. It has um, equalizers, gates, all that built into it. So when you plug your mic into it, it'll make it sound pretty automatically. I just like the I like the knobs, so that's why I got that. But that's not even necessity. But as far as priority, I would say get definitely need, need one of these. To stream online, and you definitely need one of these. That's right here. These two things will make your life easy. Um, with the radio streaming PC, we I just basically set the rotation, um, put the music in. It's weighted rotation, so what that means is if it's a song that you know I like a lot, I'll make it uh, the weight, the number on it higher, so it'll play more. If it's a song I don't like as much, but I just want to say it's in rotation, I'll make the number lower so it won't play as much. Um, and that's all I do. I mean, the, the, the streaming PC does everything from there. It just basically takes it in. Um, rotates music, uh, rotate the music. Um, it also does the uh, station IDs for me automatically. It does uh, commercials, uh, basically just assign it inside this, this uh, streaming PC. I'll assign, you know, the different audio files, and it'll, I'll tell it what it is. If it's a commercial, I'll tell it if it's a station ID, if it's a promo, if it's um, uh, an interview, if it's music, you know, and if it's music, it'll, it'll I'll say, you know. If it's a really good song, I'll make the number higher to make it play more. Um, if it's like not a good song, I'll make it number lower not to play as much. But once I put it all in here and set it up, it may take me like, for real, it may take you maybe, it depends on how much music you got. You know, you can get this done probably about 30 minutes. Once you plug it in, you can probably have your rotation done in about, if you got a lot of music, probably 30 minutes. If you don't have a lot, you probably can get it done like 15, 20. Um, and once you do it, you, once you get it set up, you, you, you're done. You walk away from it. And then the streaming PC takes over and does everything for you. And we literally leave this up 24-7. That's it. 24-7 that runs. Um, you can put a battery backup on it. So if your power go out, you know, it'll run for a little bit before it cuts off. And you already have a time to shut it down. Um, but that's it, man. I'm going to put in the description where y'all can get these two two items. Um, I know this is on eBay. Um, I'll put a description in the description where, you got, where I got that from. And uh, base, that's it. That's that's basically the best way to set it up. Oh, also, I do have my station set up where I have two lines coming out. I have one going to my mixer, and I have one going to my um, amp right here with my speakers. So we, when, we, when we're not, like, on the microphone, I'll do something where I'll turn the speakers on. Let me see I turn it on. Like that. And that way I can hear. Let me turn it down so you can hear me. That way I can hear the music. So um, as I'm watching this, the station... And I see when our break's about to come back and play, I can listen to the music and kind of, we can get in the groove or whatever. So when it's time for us to come on, we'll know. Because uh, sometimes you don't be looking at the screen and you just hear the, your track come on where you know you're supposed to be talking. And then you just jump on the mic real quick. So that happens sometimes with us. So, But I'll put a link in there, man, for um, all that. Where you can get these from. I also, I'm going to put a link in the description on um, a link so you can listen to the uh, station live so you can see how it sounds. But um, I think that's everything. Oh, the back of it, real simple. Simple. Let's say it's a simple computer. You got your, uh, you know, your mouse, keyboard, internet, monitor, power. That's it. That's all. So, that's how we do it. Oh, and your microphone. And that's just a regular microphone stand that you just clip, clip onto your uh, desk. So, that's how we do it. If you guys have any questions, man, hit me up. Leave me a comment. Um... Whatever, just try and show you how to set this thing up. All right, these PCs also, I'm gonna tell you, um, this comes pre configured, so even with the sound quality, it was already pre configured. So, I don't have to worry about if you're not like a, a sound person, you have to worry about it. Just put your music in, and, and it should already be configured to get the best quality, uh, HD quality for you. So, sweet situation. All right, guys, that's what I want to tell you about. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys another time when I have another tutorial. All right.